Chinandam. My name is Peter Bloomfield, and I'm a physician, an emergency physician, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about the experience of being a Sarvanya Pitta Yajaman, means someone investing in the Sarvanya Pitta project. Uh, so this project, for those who don't know, is basically uh, His Divine Holiness Paramahamsa Nechananda's vision for an enlightened civilization, for a civilization that's built around the idea that we as humans, our divine beings, our God itself, uh, divided into many different physical expressions, but fundamentally no different from God than, or Shiva than Shiva itself, just a lesser quantity, but the same quality. So uh, a civilization designed to bring out that aspect of us so that we can all know that about ourselves. And as beings, as humans, we can all work together to support each other in expressing our divinity. So that involves things like schools, involves things like uh, sattvic food, recipes and cookbooks as per Sadashiva, dancing, clothes, uh, of course rituals, lifestyle practices, everything designed to bring out our higher consciousness, to bring out our capacity for enlightenment, our capacity to radiate bliss and Sadashivatva. So that's the, the project in a nutshell. Uh, so briefly my experience around the whole thing uh, the biggest thing I can say for me is it's a, it, it's a substantial personal investment. Uh, and basically anyone who's becoming a Yajaman and a Sarvanya Pita, they're putting a big chunk of their investment and their, their treasure and their resources to support Swamiji's vision and to support really the world's vision for a society based on higher consciousness. So for me particularly, I was not a guy who had you know, a lot of money sitting around. So it was a big, big stretch to undertake this. And I had no thought or concept I would ever do it. Um, but then one thing led to another, and there I was kind of doing it. And I can just say the impact it's had on me is, see, if you're, if you're a person and you have some money, right? However you feel about your money and your fortune and the rise and fall of all of it, it's just you, your small person by yourself with whatever resources you have. And there's kind of like a... For me, there was always a sense of fear around it. What if someone, what if it goes away? What if I lose it? What if I misinvest it? What if I can't make more? Uh, and then any sense of greed, oh, if I have more, what does it mean about me? All of that. Uh, but when you become a benefactor of Swamiji's mission and his vision, it, your money is no longer, it's yours, yes, but it's not just yours. It means not just you is invested in your financial well-being. So when you give your money and support to Swamiji's mission as becoming Sarvanya Pita, suddenly you're lined up with the Devas and Devatas. You're lined up with the cosmic intelligence. That means from whatever point you make that personal leap of faith or however you want to call it, uh, from that point on for the rest of your life, all the cosmic forces are aligned to keep you in good shape. It means you don't have to worry about your financial situation. You don't have to worry about your resources. It's like uh, you're just set up for the rest of your life. Even, like I said, for me, it was a very big leap and I had a lot of limiting beliefs about whether I could invest that or what it would mean, all of that. I can just say ever since I've done it, I don't even have to worry about money anymore. I just know if I need money, I'll have it. And if I need more, I'll have more. And I just know Swamiji and the cosmic intelligence will always be taking care of me. So it's really transformed my experience around money in a huge way. And I know the ease, looking forward when I did it, it looked like it was going to be really hard to do. But looking backwards, once I had done it, the ease with which it happened was amazing. And the ease with which, now it just seems money always is there. As much as I need and, and maybe more than I need. And it's just a very different relationship around the whole thing. The whole drama, the whole thing is gone. And then the whole idea of, your definition by your money, it kind of gets melted as well because when, you, when you're aligned with the vision of Swamiji, of His Divine Holiness, Paramahamsa Nichananda, when you're aligned with that, you just become part of something so much bigger than your personal bank account. And something that is going to impact billions of people and last for many, 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 many lifetimes here on earth. So it just, it takes something that is a personal insecurity or personal... I don't know, uh, vested interest. It, it takes a very small thing and then suddenly you become part of a really big thing. 
And it's just a beautiful transformation that I think anyone, no matter where they're coming from in their personal situation, if they're a millionaire, billionaire now, or if they're struggling to pay the rent or whatever, when you just get lined up with the idea of uh, tying your personal financial well-being to Swamiji's mission to expand consciousness on earth, it's like you're just hooking up to the limitless source. Same way Swamiji never gets tired, same way Swamiji never gets upset, same way Swamiji, nothing will face him no matter what anyone does or says about him. Suddenly your financial well-being is tied into that sense of possibility and that sense of inevitable amazingness. So, uh, it's hard to really put into words more than what I've done, but I can just say it, it just really transforms what for many people is a very stressful part of your life. So if anyone out there is considering Sarvanya Pita or uh, thinking they couldn't do it or thinking, oh, that's a nice idea, but that would be a crazy thing to do, all of that. I really encourage you to think about it. And actually, less you think is better just to do it. And you'll see how your financial life will transform. And whatever stage you're in, you can just declare for where you are and then just see where it leads. It's like, it's just an invitation to align with the universe's natural desire to expand and consciousness's natural desire to expand. When you align yourself with that, you're only going to win out. And the cosmos will win out and everyone else will win out. And of course, there's the fact that when you walk into the Dhyana Pitam, as a Sarvanya Pita, you feel like you're a part of it and it is part of you in a really, really, really big and beautiful way. And it's just, there's nothing more that you'd want to be involved with. There's nothing more you'd want to be aligned with. There's nothing more that you'd want to see flourish than this expansion into higher consciousness. And having the opportunity to be a part of it is just a, there's more security and there's more fulfillment and there's more excitement than any other investment that I can think of uh, with your financial resources. So, I don't know, anyone who's at all considering it, I encourage you to go for it. And I just say, I never, ever, 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 ever have an inkling of regret. It's, when your relationship to money is not so much about the numbers, it's about how you feel about the numbers. And when you take some numbers and put them towards Swamiji, how you feel about the numbers dramatically changes. And how you feel about the sense of security and the sense of well-being and you're being cared for for the rest of your life, it dramatically changes. More than putting more numbers in your bank account would ever do. It's much beyond that. It's much, much, much beyond that. It transcends that. So anyways, anyone can approach me if they have any questions. And I just say I, I really, really, really recommend anyone who's considering it to take a leap of faith and go for it.